Hi everyone, I'm Ankur Verma, a practice director with Everest Group focused on healthcare and life sciences research. Uh, today I have one of our analysts from HLS team uh, sharing some insights on the revenue cycle management market in healthcare. Hey Vivek, thank you for joining in. Hi Ankur, thank you for having me. So Vivek, you and I have been talking about this huge market, right? Almost uh, 13 billion in revenues every year about how this market is growing at almost double digits in the post pandemic uh, uh, times, unlike other industries where uh, COVID-19 stunted the growth, right? And uh, this growth uh, in the revenue cycle management market is distributed across uh, each of the value chain alone, right? Starting with patient engagement on the front office to coding and billing uh, uh, in the mid office to AR management on the back office, right? Uh, on the top of that, if you look at last three years, I think there are several new deals that are being signed in this industry, which was unheard of uh, three years back, right? So uh, could you provide us some insights on the factors which are driving the health systems to outsource more compared to what they were doing uh, in the pre-pandemic times? Sure, sure. In fact, uh, to start off, I would like to sort of highlight is that a lot of these factors are increasingly driving the outsourcing from uh, small to mid-sized hospitals. Uh, start to start off the first one, which is uh, around the labor shortage market. We are seeing that in the market there's an acute dearth of labor, uh, and this is primarily because of factors such as higher attrition or early retirements and scarcity of trained talent pools, such as you know billers, coders, nurses, etc. And this is affecting their operations. Uh, because you know a lot of these professionals are not just uh, looking for better opportunities, but some of them are uh, leaving the industry altogether. While some of them are even looking for uh, switch to nursing staffing firms that provide higher flexibility in terms of location. Uh, as a result, hospitals and health systems they are just not able to manage the pent up demand, both in the inpatient as well as the outpatient settings. Uh, this has led to multiple issues, such as huge pile up of uh, unresolved denials. Uh, missed patient follow-ups leading to higher than ever bad deaths and uh, increase in resource management costs, particularly in hiring, training, and then again retraining. Uh, secondly, an increasing competition in the market has kept the providers on toes because they are struggling to have a loyal patient base. Uh, hospitals are just not able to secure a, a foolproof uh, solution that can ensure a holistic experience for the patients because uh, what right now patients are looking for is a seamless experience right from scheduling to final payment. Uh, you know, nobody likes to be called up frequently or receive frequent uh, people based statements on outstanding dues. And that is why patients are looking for app based experiences uh, that just not provides them a complete visibility of the process but also offers additional uh, additional offerings such as payment plans to help them manage the healthcare expenditure. Thirdly, uh, healthcare providers have traditionally been laggards, and this is quite known to the market, right? When it comes to technology adoption, uh, the need to adopt tech based solution was also clearly highlighted during the pandemic because the hospitals were just not able to manage their operations efficiently uh, and productively. productively. Uh, while a lot of hospitals are now shifting to integrated offerings that provides uh, uh, that provides automation and analytics capabilities. Uh, a huge chunk of them are still looking for domain experts to consult them on what would be the best suitable product for their operations. Um, given that they are facing huge margin pressures, they don't really want to invest in capital in those systems and solutions that is not future proof and provide uh, does not provide realistic outcomes on their RCM operations. So broadly, these three are the major challenges among several other as well that is driving the growth in the RCM operations market. Uh, thanks for sharing this point as we make. Uh, I believe this would have significant implications on the RCM sourcing market. Uh, 